What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Today, we're going to be talking about the very biggest update of PlayStation Plus. We're going to be talking about what happened, or what has happened, to PlayStation Now. So, I have brought up my PlayStation 4, I have got it plugged up, as you guys can see. I have brought up the games, and brought what's new to PlayStation Plus. Also, I am going to be putting, um... This on Storyfire also, so everybody on Storyfire is going to re realize what's going on too. Uh, anyway, so today we're going to be talking about all the benefits, <coughs> all the games, everything that's on PlayStation Plus right now. Everything is, this is a really huge update. And this has never been an update that I've ever seen before. And this is like my actual first time having to talk about it. It's been 10 days since this has been out. So... We're going to talk about the plans that are on here. So let me get a sec. I'm going to go ahead and pull them up. Give me a second. All right, guys. So here's all the plans of PlayStation Plus. So what is new to it? Uh, places Now and PlayStation Plus both have been bundled together instead of being separate. I think it's really a good update. But at the moment... Um, I'm going to compare the plans to each other, so let's let this load up for a second. But, as I'm saying, the plans that are here is going to show you what's all there. So, here is the essential. You have the essential. You have monthly games, online multiplayer, PlayStation Plus Collection, PlayStation 5, exclusive discounts, exclusive packs, cloud storage, game help, and shared play. Now, as you can see, there are four catalogs that are in gray that are not in the essential. Because there's some new things that are out for PlayStation Plus that I didn't know about. And I ended up seeing all this just as of the other day. And uh, I started playing with my classic games, which I'm getting ready to, to say. Um, so, um, what has happened is PlayStation Now is bundled with PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Now is gone. It's not coming back. And uh, you can get this essential for 40 bucks, if I'm correct. I may go to it if it's... Okay, so anyway, so you can get the essentials and extras and premium. There's three. So uh, you have the monthly games, which is monthly every month. That they, they post on there for the three games. And instead of being a full game now, it is now a trial on all games for uh, the monthly games. It's no longer a full game. They are turned it from full game to trials because of all the games that they put on here. Are on PlayStation Plus starting right now. It's like a Game Pass on Xbox. They've got a bunch of games. They bundled together whatever. Just they just brought a bunch of games in. Now, with that being said, Essential has got uh, exclusive discounts where you could uh, get discounts to anything that you want to buy. Like say you buy, you want to buy the Dragon Quest XI or Grand Theft Auto V, you're gonna get a, a discount for both games and probably about like I said 30 to 40 percent discount maybe even higher and with all the discounts you're actually going to be a, a be eligible to buy the games uh, cheaper instead of buying at the regular price now with the online multiplayer you can go on multiplayer like say like you're playing Fall Guys, Fortnite, playing Apex Legends I really don't care about Apex Legends or Fortnite but or uh, Paladins just games that's online will help with your essential and you'll be able to if you're on your essential you can be on online multiplayer and PlayStation Plus will give you the online multiplayer pass to go through and play online games online multiplayer without an issue now you have exclusive packs say like you're gonna play World War Z and you have this pack that you wanted to get an add-on those packs are gonna get a discount also and they're going to be exclusive into the games that you play. There's a bunch of packs right now that are getting on exclusive, which is awesome. And I'm so far as I see, this update is doing really well. So, um, anyway, as I was saying, so we have the cloud storage. You can upgrade your cloud storage on your PS4 and uh, be able to save more games, 
instead of what the normal is. I think the normal is like 500 gigabytes or whatever it is. I don't know how much really it is. But if you guys know what it is, correct me in the comments down below so I know. Anyways, so you also have the game help, which that's normal. You have the share play, which is normal. That's same. So without these, you're not going to be able to do any of these the important things without PlayStation Plus. You cannot share play for free now. You have to have a PlayStation Plus membership in order to do that. If you want to see somebody's uh, live stream or playing a game, you're going to have to get PlayStation Plus in order to do all that. And uh, you ain't going to get no game help without the essential stuff or all this plans right here. Now we're going to move on. We're going to move on to extra. So as you can see, there's one catalog is now lit up and there's only three gray. One that uh, is in the extra is the games catalog, which is going to be, well, yeah, on the first one, it says, I see the trials are grayed out. I do apologize. I didn't see that. The monthly games are going to be full games. I do apologize for saying it was going to be trial, but um, I'm looking at the other one. Anyway, so the trials are not going to be in the essential or the extra, just like the essential. Anyways, as I was saying, so game catalog. So the games catalog is going to give you a bunch of games to deal with, a bunch of PS4, PS5 games to download, to uh, be able to play that's new to your PS4, new to you, new to your account, and you can play, sit there and play the brand new game, or the uh, two, three years ago games that that's now put on Game Pass, or uh, I'm thinking about Xbox over here, that is put on your PlayStation Plus Pass, I'm going to say Pass because it's really a pass anyway. PlayStation Plus Pass is going to be your games catalog. You're going to have all the stuff. Everything else is the same as Essential, but there's very much more to the next one. So, as you can see, the last three are now nowhere grayed out. Everything is there. Your classic catalog is the one I'm going to be talking about last. Sorry to say. But, okay, we're going to go to Game Trials. So, Game Trials, you're going to have uh, the games, like I said in the first uh, Essential, I thought they were lit up, but they're not. For your monthly games, if you get the premium, you're going to end up with the uh, game trials on some of them. And just not all of them, but if there's three that are sitting there that they chose out, it will be full game, no matter what, 100%. And it'll have the games catalog, and your cloud streaming, you will be able to stream with PlayStation Plus, since PlayStation Now is no longer on the store. They've taken it off, they combined them together, <coughs> and... Uh, is what's best so now let's get into the classic catalog and let's show you what's all in the classic catalog right now let's go all right guys so here are the classic catalogs but i'm gonna go over all this stuff here real quick so uh what it is in the extra cat game catalog you guys are asking so all the games that are added to the playstation plus you have Spider-Man Miles Morals in PlayStation 4 and 5 is now on PlayStation Plus. You have the Assassin's Creed Valhalla is now on PlayStation Plus. You got the 2, 2K22 NBA, PS4. All of these games here are currently put on the game, on the uh, actual PlayStation Plus. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. On the actual PlayStation Plus. Sorry. I'm talking too bad. Anyways. So if you guys like some of these games, see some of these games are been uh, been put out from the PS3 version, and they've been re-updated, they've been remastered, renewed. All some of these games are new, some of these are not. You've got Human Fall, you've got Slime Rancher. Some of these games that you guys have never played, it is on Game Pass starting right now for free. You can play the full games of every one of these without an issue. And I played some of these already. I played Until Dawn. Until Dawn is a really good game. It's just a little difficult. Anyways, um, so you have Doom, which is post been on Xbox. They immediately went and had and brought it into the first one into the PlayStation 4, which is awesome. I'm kind of glad because I've heard of this game. It's been really good. So it's the best ever. Anyway, you got Far Cry 3, the classic edition that was put on the PS3 back of uh, a couple years back is now on here you've got so many games my stick of truth i get to play again thank god i just now seen that um all these games here guys is now on game pass or playstation plus pass why am i saying game pass i'm just gonna say playstation plus i'm like over here losing my mind 
I'm losing my mind over here. So, PlayStation Plus. This is all the games that is on PlayStation Plus starting now. I've been playing too much Xbox over here. Um, so, PlayStation Plus has got a bunch of these games that are new to PlayStation Plus. I'm gladly glad that a lot of these games aren't on here. Most of these games you guys have played in the past or playing now or trying to beat it right now. Even Medieval is one of the PlayStation 1 games that was remade into the PS4. It took a lot of generations to get around to remake this one. I've never heard of a second one, but if there's a second one, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, so on the PlayStation Plus, guys, you've got Power Rangers, you've got a bunch of these crazy games that I'm really not even expecting it to be this big. And you can see, let me uh, get my camera out of the way. I don't know what that is. Give me a sec. All right, we're gonna put it up here. So you can see all the games that are here, guys. Every single one of them has been put on the PlayStation Plus. You've got so many good games right now on here. It is the best. You even got John Wick Hex. Really awesome right now. I mean, one of the best. And also, with the monthly games, these are the monthly games that are on right now. These are the only three right now. The Naruto, the Buruto. I've never played this game, to be honest. I've never played God of War. Not since I played on the PlayStation 3. Um, I guess the last time I played it, or the PlayStation 2, one of the two. Um, but anyway, and you've got Nickelodeon All-Star Ball. I've heard this has been released recently, and I've heard it's good. I haven't played it yet either. So, we've got a bunch of games in the game trials we're going to look at real quick. So... This is what I'm talking about. So these are all trials. These are not full games. Um, it's only giving me a certain amount of limited time to play these games. There's not none of these here are full at all. They're just trials at the moment. Um, hopefully soon that they'll bring it back. All right, so we're gonna get to my favorite topic: the classic catalog. Now there's some of the classic catalogs that I've not played, so just bear with me, guys. All right, so. Here are the classes. We've had The Last of Us remastered that came out for from the PS3 to the PS4. You have God of War 3. You have Mafia 3. It was on the PS3, which I remember. Uh, you've got Resident Evil Remake that was put on the PS3. Or, no, it was on PS4. It, it's not on PS4. I thought it was on PS3. I'm losing my mind. Anyway, so, uh, don't mind me. I'm losing my mind over here. So, you got a bunch of these old games. I just, uh, this one I've played before. I've not played it recently at all. It's really tough. Even on easy mode, it's really st strictly hard. Now, the Atari flashbacks are put on the classics, which is awesome. I love Atari games. I've loved playing them games ever since I was a kid. It's been the best games ever we got. All straight to A to B. All your favorite games that... That was your classic game that you used to play when you're younger. Are awesome. Here's my favorite one. My favorite one. Resident Evil Director's Cut, and this is the game we're going to be live streaming starting tonight. It came out uh, for the new update. There are still some glitches. I did play this recently, and for some odd reason, the code doors when you fall down in the pit, and I go down into the basement, and you should be able to get the take the little code for the door no matter what and there's a glitch with that right now so I'm hoping that they can fix that also they do have a glitch where when you beat the game you go to the very end you ain't facing the final boss which is very odd I did that and the enemy was still alive I think what happened is when uh, Wesker died and I was supposed to keep him alive I don't know how that's supposed to happen, but either way, one of the favorite games. I'm hoping that the round two comes in for the best round ever. Round one was awesome, I gotta say, because that was my first round, and I'm glad that this game's on here. We're gonna be live from that here pretty quick. Also, we have Dark Cloud 1 and 2. Now, I have heard these games are good, I just never played them. There's a bunch of these games that I've never played in at all. I've never even had the chance to play them. I've heard they've been really good. They've got some... It's just good, put that way. But there's a bunch here that I've never played. 
I had Devil May Cry 4. I played 5. Yeah, I beat it. Uh, you've got the collection here. It's got yeah, Epic Mickey 2 that I've never, oh, excuse me. Epic Mickey 2 that I've never played. I also want to play it. There's tons of games in here, guys, that I have not played and some I've had. But with that being said, guys, this is the biggest update. And I'm thinking that uh, they're going to be doing a round 2 here pretty soon. This is just round 1. We got round 2 coming. And we don't know when. They haven't announced it yet. Um, they haven't brought no more uh, games yet. There's round 1. This is what we're going to hear. This is all the round 1. Um, as far as I know, round 2 has not been announced. It has not been said yet. But uh, hopefully it does. They get round 2 to add more games on here. Would be the best in the PlayStation Plus history. I mean, PlayStation has done a lot with a bunch of updates. They've been updating the system. They've been updating every single game in its generation, no matter what it is. You know, they've not given up once. So, as long as it's on PS4 and it's in the classics, they will continue to update them. There will be updates for them. And I'm hoping that there will be. So, with that being said, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Um, like I said here, that's all the catalogs that I went through. Every bit of them. And we're going to go to the exclusive discount real quick. And this is class for me also want to deal with real fast. And I went to wrong one. Okay, there it goes. So this is the cloud streaming. This is what you can stream. All the games you can stream without an issue. As long as you have a good connection with internet and everything, you should be fine. You got the monthly games, blah, blah, blah. I already read those. You've also got the exclusive discounts. Sorry, guys. You've also got the exclusive discounts. Like I said, you ain't going to be able to uh, get the entire full game. But you will get the actual discount instead of buying it for full price you'll be buying this game for less than like 50 to 60 bucks percent off at 50 percent off 40 percent off it don't matter and this game is also on the xbox at the moment so i don't know if it's on here nope okay so you got 10 percent on that one you've got match point at least oh well it doesn't say but You've got seven days to die, which is a percent percent off, which you see, eighty-five percent off. And it's dead there till the seventh, which I'm possibly going to get seven days to die because I've heard it. it's really great, a game, a great game. I mean, every bit of it, it's just the best. I am glad to look through all this and be able to see all the new games that I can download. I do even have Red Dead Redemption Two. That I've started, not even started my game yet. I barely even played it. I just started at the beginning and then I stopped and turned it off. Because I was sleeping. Well, not really sleeping. I was uh, going to sleep and I was too tired to play it. So, Anyways, guys, that is the catalog for every game in, in the history, guys. Like, like I said, this game is go the game's going to have a bunch of stuff, which I'm glad for. I'm going to go ahead and turn the audio off on this thing. Right, here we go. All right, so that is all the games for the all the catalogs for every single one. This this update has been the really biggest update, and I'm kind of glad it is out. I'm hoping that they bring some more classic games. The Resident Evil 2 old version, I would love to play it right now. I have not played that game since I was a kid, man. That game has been lit. I played the remake. Awesome. I mean, it is just great. You know, with the new updates, new games that are out, old games that are out, they are bringing all old games on every single console in the entire console history, which is so good, and I'm ex really excited for a bunch of them. So, even for the PC, Stream is bringing a bunch of old games also that's been on there before, that I've never played, you know. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get out here, thank you guys for watching, that is everything to talk about the PlayStation Plus for the biggest update. The biggest update is a 10 star on that. I gotta say, it's that right there is just amazed me of how many old games have came back and they brought back. It is awesome. So, I'm hoping they do round two. Hopefully, they get them out of the way. We'll see what happens.
So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll see you guys on the live stream. Peace.